just been reading a very amusing article uh, that Google CEO Eric Schmidt has uh, accused China of being the world's greatest computer hacker. Now, it may well be that the Chinese do hack computers. I've certainly got no evidence to show it, but I wouldn't discount that. But it needs to be said that I know for a fact that the United States and Israel are very major computer hackers. They attempt to data mine and attack people such as myself who disapprove of American and Israeli foreign policy. Um, this they do in an organized fashion. Uh, they pay people to attack us online. Uh, they have software that they develop specifically for this. Uh, it's called persona management software. They astroturf, they vote bot, they uh, uh, abuse people. Um, and this report written with Jared Cohen, who is Jewish, uh, is very keen to blame China, but it doesn't put the spotlight on Google, which has a horrific record in allowing a cyber crime to continue. Um, it's very ironic that Google, uh, with such an appallingly low standards of uh, hacking people, data mining people, uh, using people as commodities to be bought and sold on the open market. Uh, Google software is riddled with defects. Um, for example, uh, their YouTube system, uh, there's embedded uh, some uh, codes on that which can uh, affect your computer. For example, if you try and put a post a comment on channels, if you have a targeted channel such as mine, you often get a download that says uh, a, a download Ajax, Ajax being a, uh, a code word for the Israelis that they, they like to use. And uh, this is by no means an accident. So hacking of computers, uh, the production of viruses, is something that Google knows about and allows their systems to be used to propagate it. Uh, that's why I think Eric Schmidt, uh, who's uh, having a extramarital affair with the Jewish woman at the moment, I believe, is on very thin ice to accuse China. I think the best thing for Google to do would be to look in the mirror, do some real soul searching, and for Google to change their policies, which are, are frankly very, very evil and, and very detrimental to me personally. I regard Google's activities as an enormous threat to my personal security. Uh, they participate, allow, and indeed, uh, Google uh, actually recruits senior military personnel from the Israeli army to serve uh, in their uh, company. Obviously, this puts people such as myself as a disadvantage because our comments and our, all our communications uh, using Gmail or YouTube can be intercepted. And that's why I frequently discover that I've been unsubbed from channels that I've subbed to or that people who've subbed my channel have been unsubbed. And this is something that happens routinely. Uh, so Google, get your act together before accusing China. We know that Google has a policy of regime change in China. This is something that they uh, are organizing with Israel. I hope that uh, people who want a multipolar world, who, want, who don't want the Americans and Israelis to run the show on their own, or rather the Israelis with America uh, being the uh, bar bouncer, um, are going to do something to assist China to stay independent um, not that China's a perfect country, but at least it's out of the Israeli axis. Uh, China, Russia, Iran, um, Venezuela, Cuba are all countries that we need to support uh, because right now the Israelis are going all in for global domination. Uh, they have the world's banking system at their disposal. They have uh, the world's politicians, the judicial systems, the IMF, the uh, uh, World Bank, uh, the Bank of International Settlements, uh, Wall Street, uh, the mass media, all the major corporations are singing from the Israeli hymn sheet. And it's up to little old me and a few independent channels out there uh, to put the other side of the coin. Uh, but even, th even though we're very, uh, uh, even though we don't have a lot of power, admittedly, 
Um, they're even trying to shut us down. The Israelis are not content with ownership of all the dominant media, be it on the internet, radio, television, advertising, Hollywood. Um, they've got the lot. They've got the whole lot. They want total global control. And CEO Eric Schmidt, who may, he may not be Jewish, but he, he's certainly a Zionist. Uh, he's on record as saying that Google love Israel. That's what he said. Um, I don't think Google love Iran, and Google certainly don't love China. So I don't think Google love America either, judging by their horrible policies. But um, we need to do something about this. We need Google need to be taken to court. Uh, they've certainly committed criminal offenses against me personally. That is a fact. Everything I say, I say on oath. Um, and I'd be glad to have my day in court. I would be glad to see Google in court. But I think a class action against Google is necessary. I think there are a lot of victims of Google out there, lots of victims. Many thousands of accounts have been shut down by Google on uh, instructions from Israel. But Google are not an independent party. And the Chinese government are right, quite right, to, um, to block Google because uh, all data that Google collects is made available to the American CIA, NSA and other agencies all of which share data with Israel. Indeed, Israel almost certainly has first access, first picks to all the data they collect on all of us. And of course, they have a dossier on me. That's for certain. They have a dossier on everyone who refuses to acknowledge Israel's self-appointed right. They consider themselves the chosen people and all the rest of us are there to serve their requirements. I don't accept that and I hope neither do you. Thank you for listening.